Gentlemen, good afternoon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fork any smart contract. So I just called this on my channel earlier today. So I thought we'd take a look at the token and would use it as an example how to fork. I've yet to fork this token, but forking is basically copying and launching your own token. Copying the contract, it has the same functionality. So if you come across a token that you like the functionality, this is a reflection contract. So we're going to use this as an example. What you want to do is click over to BSC scan. This works for every token, might I add. Click contract, click contract again. And we're going to check out the code. So it takes experience. You might need to learn some solidity in order to go through everything. So, but we're going to call this spooky, I don't know, doge. I'm sure there's been many spooky doges launched recently because of the Halloween meta. But. What we've got here is what we're going to look at. So we're going to copy this off. I'm going to take that off as well. Now you might want to put all your details in here. So obviously when you copy a contract, you don't know what's in the code. You don't know the functionality, etc. You can look on BSC scan in the read to see the functions of the contract, what it has and what you need to look for. Again, that comes with experience. So first thing I like to search for is, is there any wallets? So there's a marketing wallet. First thing I want to do is I want to change that to my wallet. Yeah, so just copy that off and paste your wallet in. Are there any others? No, that's pancakes. What route are? That's the dead address. We'll leave that now. Swap tokens, we can change that on BSC scan. That's a very low number. Max wallet, we want to put that as 1% out of 100. Yeah. Um, total supply, this is, I believe. And we want to search, maybe we can find. Yeah, so that's the total supply. So if I want a lower number than that, I can just reduce it down or I can add, you know, a two there, for example. And that's what you might add. The second thing I want to look for is the name of the token. So the name is here. So we, we're calling us Doge. And we're going to call it S Doge. And see if there's any more. I think that's about it. We'll go ahead and deploy. We'll see what happens. Now, what you want to look for is the compiler version. So this is 0810. So I want to make sure that's set 0, 8, 10. Yep, perfect. And advanced configuration, enable optimization and let that compile. Make sure you click injected web free. And we want to find R1 here. So we're going to just deploy that. But let me check if that's compiled. I'll compile it again. Just to make sure all the changes, compiling is basically like saving it. And we want to go back. And we'll go ahead and we'll deploy that. And we'll see what happens. Now we're going to wait for it to deploy. Contract deployment. That looks perfect. It may or may not work, but we're going to go through it and we're going to see it together. Once that's deployed, I want to copy my wallet. And I want to go over to BSC scan. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the, the contract creation, which was 11 seconds ago. And that looks like it, I believe. Let's see. So that's my that's my token. And we change the supply to 2 billion, which is wonderful. And what we're going to do is we're going to verify it. So click here. And click over to contract. And it should say verify. So we're going to copy all of that exactly how it was. I'm going to click solidity. Compiler version was 810 up. If I remember, MIT license. Copy that. I'm going to verify. Fingers crossed it works. If not, I'll have to look at how to verify it later on. Sometimes it takes a while to load. So it looks like it's verified. We can click over the contract. And now we can change the functionality. So I can connect my wallet here. Expand all, and I can change the. Do I want to change anything before launch? Rescue token. So if you get token stuck, set taxes. So I might want to do that. Um, I might want to change five percent to marketing reflections. That's reflections. 
So if you hold a token any one time someone sells, they get that 1% liquidity. And there's a burn function as well, very nice. So I'm going to write that now. So I'm doing a 4% tax. And we're going to go ahead and check if there's anything else. Max transaction, max wallet, etc. I'll just leave it how it is. And we can change the marketing wallet as well, which is really nice. So let's add some LP. And let's see if we can trade this. I believe it will be tradable. Once we have that, oh, I'm going to add a really, really small amount of LP. Let's put everything in there. And this works for pretty much most contracts, like I said before. Some of which will need more technical knowledge. This one seems pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, even someone with experience like me, I'll probably look through any contract and go through it. But there are some contracts you may need help with. Let's add $20 LP. And let's see. I don't know if it's... There's no trading function as such on here. So I couldn't see one. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy this now because I didn't see a function where it was you know let's buy a hundred tokens see what happens looks like it's gone through we can go back to the chart and check. Now, you could, you need to be testing these. The reason the button's red is because the LP is so low. But we're going to see if that transaction goes through. Now, you must test these, like I said. Um, this isn't something where you want to go and just go through. Um, so, yeah, that's that's been purchased. And we're going to see if we can sell it. So, the number one thing I always check is if you can sell it. Once this loads, uh, let's sell it all. And we should be able to check afterwards the functionality so we can look through the transaction once it's gone through and see the reflections because I should have some left in my wallet potentially. There might have had to be more trading. So I want to make sure the sell works, the buy works and I want to check the tax for the marketing as well. There's not enough for the swap back so the swap back will set at a certain setting so we wouldn't have um, any. I think the, the reflections are on the swap back as well so everything looks fine. We can put into if we put into a honeypot checker, I think it's probably gonna show it's a honeypot because of the LP low, but that's something you want to check as well. Um, so yeah, it's shown as a honeypot because the LP is low. But if I added more liquidity, probably it would show the tax level as well. We can check that in the function just to make sure I've got the right tax. But as you can see, I was using a high slippage and it went through anyway. So we can expand this and we can look through everything again. So it's got nine decimals, marketing wallet, which is mine, max wallet, max transaction is 1%. And token swap amount. So that's what the contract has to get to in order for it to go through um, and swap and then you get the reflections and you get the marketing etc so everything seems fine and if you've got any questions do let me know probably some people if you're having trouble with some contracts contact me on telegram and we'll have a chat 